everybody, welcome back to the channel. We are out here on a place that I've wanted to come to for a long, long time, to be quite honest. I have fished the lower part of the Nolichucky River up above Douglas, you know, going up to, uh, up as far as you can get up it from there. But I've never been way up here up on the upper Nolichucky River. I've always wanted to come check it out. And that's what we're gonna do today, ain't it? Yep. Yeah, and you never know what you're gonna get on a new place with uh, with me driving or hit. or what I might hit, <laughs> um, especially when we're, when we're on a new river. So, um, yeah, we, we've uh, we've come up with a couple goals for today's video. You know, this being, like I said, a new a new piece of water for me, and I've heard that it's pretty good fishing. Um, you know, it's got a lot of good fish in it, and a, a good number of fish. So I think we've got a few reasonable goals yeah. that uh, you know for us to try to achieve today because no competition. Cal didn't like me saying that. No competition between us. We're just going out there trying to accomplish a few common goals. What are our goals today, Parker? So we want to double up, yep. catch 15, at least 15 fish. Yep. Um, our best five weigh 10 pounds and what's that? our biggest one. What's and it? Our biggest one has to be a three pounder. Biggest one be a three pounder. That sounds like, I mean, if we achieve all of those, that'll be a pretty, pretty reasonable goal. And one little deal on the double if we catch a double i think what, what would be something neat to do and and to do a little give back um through this through this video if we catch a double so you know meaning we both hook up you know uh, he could already have landed his but he's still holding it and i've reeled one in but we catch a double we're gonna add the weight of those fish together times it by 10 whatever that is hopefully it's a couple two pounders at least or you know maybe bigger than that whatever it is we'll double that or add those weights together times it by 10 and then i'm going to make a donation to a conservation organization that's a lot of asians <laughs> in that uh in that donation to a conservation organization and uh and you know do a little bit of a give back through that so that's we, our goal what catch if we a double. do our two biggest double uh, yeah. and then times it by 10. i mean if the double we catch is small maybe that's what we'll do each of our biggest fish we'll we'll, we'll do that and times it by 10. so we'll come up with a good way to make a make a nice little donation to a conservation organization yep. is what we're going to come up with for today so let's go out here let's hit this river and uh and give it a give it a try see what the upper noble chucky's all about hopefully we don't bore you <laughs> <laughs> three foot or so oh yeah that's i saw something funny did you there you go oh cart yep yeah. <laughs> that's what i was like Lots of layers, ledgy rock. It's ledging down and then it shrinks back down. So man, hit the bottom. Yeah, definitely have your feet planted as we go down through here. And where are the fishies? In the water. Eee! There was a red horse or something just jumped. What the heck is a red horse? They're kind of like a sucker. I think that's those, they're like a sucker type fish. Hmm. Let's try a shaky. Okay. I'm going to anyway. You can keep chattering if you want to. Oh, got one. Got him. There you go, buddy. First one in the boat. He bit right at the boat. Yeah. Let's see yeah, what you got. It's that hook set you got. See, I told you my practice was coming handy. Okay, there you go. When I randomly jerk it still. So. Nice work, Parky. 56 ounces. 56 ounces? That's like a three pounder. 66. Ounces? Yeah. Are you sure? Is that many ounces? <laughs> okay, that'll work. Here, let me take your picture. Fish number one. Uh oh. Hey, just reel it in. Hey, look. If I get this one in, we've got a double. Hey, but he needs to breathe. Boom. That thing's big. It didn't take long to get the double out of the way. Pound 52. 152. There she goes. Well, that was that pretty cool. Got the, you were still holding yours. That's kind of what I said, as long as we had them both together. They counted as the double, so mine was a pound. 52. 152, and yours mine was 66. So that together is 2.18. One-ish, somewhere in there. 2.18. You're just incredible at math. 
Um, all right, so we got that two fish. We can go with that. We've not no three pounder, not a ten pounds, but so we did two, get the double. So two point one eight would be about twenty bucks. Yep. Yours on the chatterbait, mine on the baby sticko. It's very up, down, up, down. I mean, they can beat anywhere. Yo. There's one. Get that rock, boy. Yeah. Dad, I feel like you're better as a boat driver than a car driver. Yeah. There's one. Got him? Yeah. Good one? Not too bad. Yeah. Good job, Porky. Too low. Well, too low. Golly. They will bite the top water, JD. How big is this one? He's decent. We'll bite the top water in the shade. Come here, you little fatty. He's over a pound. Three. I say 118. 134. 134. Did you lock it in? Okay, that's four fish. Four hmm. of our 15. That's a nice little chunker. Shoot, really? I threw right up in there? So, I said, what about the top In the shade, at least. We're definitely going to hit some rocks right here. There's one. He's tiny. Little feller. I don't even know if we should weigh him. Just a little cutie. Yeah, I don't think we worry about weighing him. But he's number five. Hi, cutie. Boop. Fish number five. Look, oh, you have a slating it. Did you? Yeah. Big and. Yeah, it looked about that size. He went, and he went that way. Yeah. Oh. Number six. Another whopper. I think our 15 number is going to be achievable. Are you trying to stay above the shore? No, I'm just fishing. That, that shade, see how it's kind of a deeper swag right in here? And it looks like it goes all the way to the bank. So we should be deep enough water over here to get to the swag. That's number seven. Well, we have to touch him. I touched him. Number seven. We might weigh this one just to see what he is. Okay. He's a little chubby. <laughs> Look at that little dude. What you talking about, Willis? 0. 0.72. What? That little thing? That little fatty. Number seven. Now we're gonna crash hard right here. Yeah, we're going down hard. Hey, what's up? Yeah, so when we come back, we'll go right through there. <laughs> That's not the big one, but. Number nine. Oh, I know where I'm at now on Google Earth. Yeah, this is like major sketchy going down this island. We'll probably put the drone up right here in a minute and look at this. Cause I want to look at this island right here and see if we're going to go down. Look. Yeah, yes. I, I'm thinking this left side is going to be the side where I, we'll have a chance to go down. Let's just see the right side. Not that side? I don't think so. Where are we? behind it. Yeah, I think the right side is our best spot. Uh, there's some spots. Yes, yeah, so that's a decent little gap. and It's no big deal there. It does. That's some, I mean, it looks like some good gaps in that. Stuff right down in there. Yeah, I think we can make it if we go far left, if we go to, almost to get to bank. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to, like, 
I'm a new wall way right down that middle path. Is this adding to the adventure? Absolutely. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, you're definitely going to have to roll this. Is that little, a little drop off? Looks like it's got a decent little. Yeah. Kind of like that over there. You know, it's creating white water about like that. That's all just. That's all. Down there, you can just, just float through there. Flat and straight, and it. Here comes the gravel bar. Is that a good bit of fishing? If we Not make really it. good for fishing. Just trying to. The wire was going back there. It's pretty thin right there. Yeah, it looks like. I think that's decent enough water down through there. I can't tell which side of that. See, that's some bigger stuff right in there. If there's enough, you keep going forward. Yeah, I think right side of that little green patch for sure. And they come back together. You got plenty of room around those trees and stuff. Don't oh. You? Oh. Never mind. Yeah. That's a good drop. That's a pretty good that drop. That was the one on Google Earth. I couldn't tell right over in here what it, if there's a gap in that or not. So what do we do if we can't make it down there? Let's fish our way back up river. Yeah. Yeah, look at that. I mean, it's gotta be some big white water crate and all that oh this is yeah like it come down there and it split two or three ways I mean, look at all that stuff that's, that's a big negative yeah. <laughs> if you had an airboat maybe an airboat would be totally fine you could run right through there yep well we're gonna run right through there huh? that's where we gotta go yeah, we're gone. Yay. Our next move is to get unstuck. New goal. And then we'll... Don't get stuck here. Yeah, that's an unreasonable goal. <laughs> How's that unreasonable? Because I'm driving. Yeah, exactly. It's like we got right on this way. Yeah. If we would have been a little more that way, we probably would have had a better chance. Yeah, we'd have, we'd have made it a little farther right over there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it is rough. So, Parky, stay, always stay on the upriver side of the boat. Don't ever get the side the current's hitting. So, like, don't be over there where the, it could push on top of you. So, either, so always upriver. So, behind it right now or this side. I think our goal's going to be... We're going to try to pull it backwards a little bit and over this way a little so, bit. This way, that way. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, keep, keep pulling it, Parky. Oh. Kind of like that. Good shape. <laughs> Only the tip of my trousers are wet. Your trousers? trousers. <laughs> he said the tips of his trousers are wet, JD. Trousers. Trousers. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> wow. I, I never knew you called them trousers. <laughs> you cracked me up, little dude. He's decent. Big enough to call one of us? Yep. Oh no! <laughs> oh. You didn't touch it so it doesn't count. Nope. And that's why I always put this in my last Here's one. one. Look. See my line? Daddy! Daddy, I need to do this good thing. Yep. Yep, cover just the point of it. 
Double digits, baby. Oh, he calls 0.81. Our weight is 5.09 pounds. We're halfway there to our 10 pound goal on five fish on our 10th bass of the day so far. Throw it over in that area over there. Are you fishing Nope. That one hit us. You got him? Yeah, you got him. A good one? Hold him up. Keep him out of the rock. Oh yeah, that's a real good one. Oh, maybe not, but. Yes, he did. <laughs> He's so big. He hit as soon as it hit the water, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Number He's 11. I don't know, it's that stuff. It looks like a red eye. That's a little small mouth. He's chunky. Wait, I never touched him. <laughs> okay, I touched him. Got him? Good? I don't know. Yes. Oh, he's black. He's a dark one. Number 12. Okay, since we're catching this many numbers, I'm gonna try a different something. I'm gonna try the chatter and the flopper a little more, try to catch it. <laughs> what the? I hope they're on the side. Yep. Go, oh, throw it right there, throw it right there. Yeah, yep, pull it back, pull it right there, yep. Boy, he smashed it, didn't he? He bit, he bit it, didn't he? Eagle? No? What is it? That's an eagle chasing an osprey. Why is an eagle chasing an osprey? I'm not sure. But I'm pretty sure that that is what that is. Oh, I bet it has a, something. I bet it has it, a, it does. That osprey's got a fish. Huh. Yeah, it does. Yeah, look at it. Mm-hmm. Whoa. That is cool. They're yelling at each other. I bet this eagle's gonna win. Normally, when this happens, the osprey should just drop it. He wants oh. his food, though. He works. Dude, that is cool. Whoa. That eagle should win. Oh, what type of fish is that? It looks like a big gizzard, like a giant gizzard shell. How big of a gizzard shell? That is a heck of a gizzard chad. That, that's not something you see every day right there, Parker. That's one chunky gizzard chad. Look at it. Oh. Wait, did he get it? No, I thought he did. This osprey is good. This is like, they're flying over us almost. The eagle has his mouth open. Now he's about to fly over us. Oh. And then he just drops the fish onto us. So here, hold this. To see it when you got a guy with a really good video camera in his hand is makes it even more rare. He, oh, that's a big one, big one. I'm talking about a big one, like a four pounder big one. Hit it right on the bank, stay on there, fish. Oh yeah. Do you want me to scoop it? It's got treble hooks, I'm gonna say probably not. Oh, look at that one with it, Parker. Where'd that one go? I'll just throw out in the shade, I don't know where he went, but. <laughs> okay. Oh, I think he's gonna be a three pounder. He's gonna be close. He's blind in one eye. Uh -huh. Blind eye. That's pretty. That was such a cool bite, dude. Right up on the bank. Man, I don't know if he's gonna be three pounds or not. He was. Dang, I thought he was a huge one when he bit. That's so cool. He's not fat. I switched to a black top water. I had a had a white one on. I actually had just missed Yellow. a couple. Or yeah, kind of a bone color one. And uh, first bite with that one. Got it. He's gonna help us a lot towards our 10 pound goal. I don't know if he's gonna make our three pound. Our three pound mark. Boy, he's gonna be that close. Other one looks like it. He's been caught before, so you can see his jaws messed up. He's blind in that eye, but. We'll call on him Captain Hook. One eye, yeah, Captain Hook. <laughs> I like that, Captain Hook. Take a picture. What's he go, Parky? I can't see. 224. 224. Only if he was fat, like that. Guy. If he was fat, he would have been. He would have been a really good one. Oh, Captain Hook. One-eyed Captain Hook. There was a really big one with it, too, though. That other one looked fat. Yeah, that's a this is the male. big skinny, big skinny postponed fish. Pretty. That's fun when they're like that. Uh, 
you know, we started off this morning, JD was actually throwing top water kind of out in the middle of some shoals and wasn't doing any good. And I said, honestly, as the sun gets up and that shade gets tighter to the bank, that'll be the time that that top water could, uh, could definitely get good. And that's, that's a couple bites that I've had doing that here in just the last little bit. So maybe we'll uh, catch some more on some top. That was, that's always a good time. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> so you see, see right in there where the water's still, right mm -hmm. against the bank. That's, you want to get as close to the bank as you can in there, because right in that little eddy is where they're likely to be. Yes. Got him. Yes. That's yeah. a double jerk. Digging? I think it's a little and pull him in the current. But if you get him in, you know what he'll be? 15. Get him in here. Right there it is. Oops. Number 15. Daddy's tiny. <laughs> this is the smallest one yet. <laughs> it is the smallest one yet. But he checks the box, boy. So that's one down. One goal accomplished. Actually two. Two? Double. Oh yeah, two goals down. There you go. I say we go up. Yeah, we're going to continue to go up from here. But I want to fish this little pool right here a little bit more. It's just really pretty two or three times. Uh. Oh, yes. What we got? This looks like a green bass, a spotted bass. Caught us a little spot. They should be laying out in here somewhere. Well, they should be laying. Right there's a fish. What? So that big black shadow. It's not a bass, but it's a fish. I think it just was a fish. Oh. Do it like that? I don't think so, but. Can we get on the land? Yeah. Just watch for snakes. Oh, yeah. Mm. Court. I think I got another spotted bass. Ooh. That's a big one. I do think it's a decent one. Yeah. I don't know if it's quite a three pounder, but he is a really nice one. Come here, Mr. Bass. Settle down. Might as well just lift you in. You're right here on the side. He's going to help, ain't he? Pretty nice one down through there on the net. We fished a long stretch here that was really pretty. Didn't catch anything. That's a pretty fish, not a mark on that dude. That's really, really pretty. I mean, just an obvious seam right on the side of that. Uh, that current break, just on a shaky head with a, or rugby head with a sticko on it. Let's see, our smallest one, 0.72. I think we're gonna cull that one. You think he's gonna go two pounds, Parky? I think it's 210. You think 210? That sounds like a pretty good, pretty good guess. You were 0.10 off, 2.2. Another nice fish. And that is 17? Number 17 on the day, so we've had a had a pretty productive day. It's about one o'clock or so. Catching some nice pretty smallmouth. Off he goes. Cool. Nice. So what's our rate right now? 8.13. Don't kill us. 
Okay. That should have been a goal too, huh? As far as something new with you in the boat, yeah. definitely the sketchiest new place I've ever ran. Like Kingsport's sketchy, yeah. but we've done it so much it's no. old news. Absolutely creamed it. He's a color if I can get him in here. He's barely got it under the chin. Not too bad. Come weigh him, scale master. Come weigh him, scale master. Easy. 127. 20. I'll take 20. Eight fifty nine. Oh. That's like jumped off. I mean, he killed it to be no bigger than he is. <laughs> Absolutely. Twenty one. Twenty one. Absolutely had a bad attitude. I want to be on a plane right now. Huh? I want to go on a plane. Boy. I saw him make a weight coming again. Dude, how is that fish that little? <laughs> I mean, seriously. I saw him making a wake. I was like, oh, here we go. 22. <laughs> Soon as it hit the water, huh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> back to back classic 1987. Well, how is there back to back of this year's 1987? Wait, what? <laughs> I popped it off of that limb. I'm not touching you. You touch him. Mm -hmm. Got him. Oh, oh, golly. This one will cool. He's not a three pounder, but. Two. Yep. Two he might be a two pounder. Maybe three. No, uh, he's chunky, but he ain't. He ain't three. Let's see what he's going to go. What's your guess, Parky? I don't know. Two ten. Mm, I'm going to say 180. Ooh, I big at him. 149. Oh, I thought he was bigger than that. So he calls a 127. He he's a nice little chunker. Full of attitude. Look at that. These fish up here, that, that's been a cool part of it. The biggest one I've caught was kind of thin and kind of poor, kind of beat up, but most of them are nice chunky. Captain Hook? You know, nice chunky little fish. Yeah, Captain Hook was kind of, he'd been, he'd been fighting on the Jolly Roger a little too long. <laughs> Oh, That's dude, that was a good throw right there. Dude, that was a good one. Oh, he looks no, that was an absolute good one. Like cold good one? It, did he not get it? Or was it just on the bottom? Is yeah, he he's it? he's got it, dude. He's got it. Oh. Told you it's a good one. Oh, I'm getting up. <laughs> Probably a good idea. Let's take your time with him. Definitely a cull fish here. Oh. <laughs> Maybe three pounder? Swing him up. Swing him in here. There we go. Yay. Nice one, Parky. That's your best one of the day, ain't it? Touch. <laughs> what do you think? Is he going to go three? Maybe. Mm, 
I don't know. I say at least two and a half. Really? 160? 158. <laughs> Way okay. again. No, that's it. That's right. He doesn't look that. He looks bigger. He's he's a nice one. He looks bigger. Yeah. Nine point oh eight, and our smallest is a one forty nine. We need a two. <laughs> we need two and a half. Two and a half. Get a calculator. We basically need a two and a half. Yep. Oh, you feel good. Nice and decent. Not big enough to call. But big enough to have fun with and be number. But you were supposed to catch number 30, weren't you? You get, give up on that. This might actually be a large mouth or it's a pretty nice spot. He may fall. He might. He's a nice little chunky spotted bass. Number three. Oh, doubled. We doubled our fish bite goal. Thank you, sir. No help. 132. Boy, he looks chunkier than that, don't he? Yep. Oh, dang, he jumped off. That one would have cold. What? He would have cold. No. Oh, I got it. You don't have the one I had. Watch your head right here. This one may cold. Yep. Kill him, you big fatty. <laughs> nice job, Parky. <laughs> Where'd you? I'm sitting down here. Okay. Where'd you get him from? I have no idea. <laughs> Stop. You wacko. 132. Dang, what? Got him. Nice fish, buddy. Oh, just not, not quite a color. Oh, oh. oh. Throw in there. There's a good one, dude. Yeah, two pounder. Good job, good job. Did you see that? Fish? Yep, he got it. Is this the same one? I don't think so. I don't think yours is quite as big. It's a nice spot. I feel like the one that came up on mine was bigger than that. But you think he's horrible? No. Get him up here though. That'll be thirty-three. 30. Look at that fatty he is. Let's think how close we were to these fish earlier. This is where you were out and the first time you were out and we ran through. Oh. Let's get him up in here. How about this? He touched the boat. <laughs> he touched the boat. <laughs> Man, this was a this was a pretty fun day. We had what was our total number 35. of goals? Well, four. Four goals, and we <laughs> we got two of them right. Yeah, like there weren't too many out. big fish. There weren't a lot of big fish. We saw a couple nice ones. I, I think the ten pound goal was seemed to be more achievable than the three pound goal, don't you? Mm -hmm. But we did catch more than fifteen. We did catch multiple doubles actually. We I think we four. Four doubles all in all. Um, our biggest five ended up being a little shy, 9.08 pounds. We needed, our smallest fish ended up being a pound and a half or. So we need a three pounder. A three pounder would have checked two boxes for us, so. But all in all, man, a really fun day, a really, really pretty river, a place I've never been before, and uh, and I will definitely be back. I could see coming here at a different time of the year, maybe the water a little cooler, the fish being the a little fall. bit bigger. I, I would bet in the fall it could be good. Uh, you know, but has an extremely healthy population. And those fish were healthy. I mean, they were a lot of them were chunkers. Only Captain Hook, the, only. <laughs> the biggest one we had. Yeah, was kind of the only thin one. But uh, caught large mouth, or we didn't catch any large mouth. We caught small mouth. We caught spots. What looked like a million mouth. Kind yeah, of. one that was close to looking like a mean mouth. But uh, man, just all in all, just a beautiful summer day here in East Tennessee, exploring a new river, running some white water. Had and, a big time. And how you know a river is good is when it's the skull, the uh, the shoals are sketchy. <laughs> That's right. The the sketchier, 
No, I ain't gonna say the sketchier or the better. You won't be able to get through them, but sketchy's fun, and this was uh, this was definitely a fun place. Well, if it's very sketchy, they other people won't go up there. Then you catch all the fish up there. He does have a very valid point. So that's uh that's part of it, and we'll do that sometimes, won't we, buddy? Mm -hmm. All right, pound it. Good Not day. Again. See Thank y'all for watching, and uh, catch you on the next one.